This is Ephesians 6 and 18. Praying also, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints and for me that utterance may be given unto me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of Yahweh. Mystery of the gospel, Salakia. First and foremost, I like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shemi Yahusha. Double honor to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone, salutation to you, Akim, pushing this word with truth, sincerity with charity, presenting your body as a living sacrifice, right? So, yeah. Uh, pray, you know, pray for us that Yahweh Bashimi Asha will um, give us utterance, man. That uh, um, that uh, will give us um, the courage to speak boldly and to divide and to rightly divide the word of truth, man. Okay. Um. As the scripture says, if any man speak, let him speak as the oracles of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right. You know, uh, let me grab a scripture. This is uh, 2 Thessalonians 3 and 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of Yahweh may have free course and be glorified even as it is with you. So, yeah, we pray that this word may uh, flow. And in doing that, we're really praying that life flows. It's just like... Um, water was spring in the desert if you're in the desert you're going to pray to the lord that you can drink some water man you know what i mean and that's why the scripture says blessed are they that thirst for righteous roughly paraphrasing man those that thirst for righteousness man okay all right you know so pray that yahweh bashim yasha quench not the spirit and um let's see This is Psalms. Uh, Psalms 119 and 42. So shall I have wherewith to answer. I started 41. Uh, it says, Vow. I don't know how to say that. Let the mercies come also unto me, O Yahweh, even thy salvation according to the. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, I see what they're doing there. That's supposed to be the Hebrew. Let the mercy, let thy mercies come also unto me, O Yahweh, even thy salvation, according to thy word. So shall I have wherewith to answer him that reproacheth me, for I trust in thy word. Oh, excuse me. And take not the word utterly out of my mouth, for I have hoped in thy judgment. So these are prayers, man. We have to pray that. As a matter of fact, let, let me get it. Um, okay. Because this is how we're going to be justified. As the scripture says, by your words shall you be justified. Uh, by your words uh, shall you be condemned. Okay. Wherein shall a, a young man cleanse his way, man? By taking heed to every word that uh, cometh out of the mouth of Yahweh Shemiasha. Okay. Hey, well, a man should not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mouth of Yahweh Shemiasha. Roughly paraphrasing those scriptures, man. So this is, uh, uh, oh, it says, I esteem that word more than my necessary food, man. So this word is our life. This is what we, um, this is what sustains us. This is Psalms 51 11. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Right, man. 
you know, take it out of that, um, holy, uh, spirit from me, man, you know, continue to use me as a, um, as a vessel to, uh, speak your word, man. First Corinthians chapter twelve and right. This is First Corinthians chapter twelve and twenty eight. And Yahweh have set some in the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healing. Helps, governments, diversities of tongues, all, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all gifts of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret, meaning there's going to be different uh, uh, functions within the body, right? But covet earnestly the best gifts, and yet, and yet show I unto you a more excellent way. And the best gifts is the gift of prophecy, man. All right, um, you know, to be able uh, to uh, to break down this word and give the understanding, man. You know, a covet a prophet is above a king, man. You know, this is Romans three and one. What advantage? What advantage then have the Jew? Or what profit is there of circumcision? Much every way, chiefly because that unto them were committed the oracles of Yahweh. An oracle means to speak, man. All right. So unto unto the prophets, well, unto the Israelites as a whole, but not as a whole, because uh, only uh, scripture says uh, many are called, but few are chosen, man. So not everybody is going to be a prophet, man. You know, but that's the best gift. Much every way chiefly, because unto them was committed the oracles of the Lord. The you know to have the word in your mouth to be to be found with it on the Lord's return um, will bring you to great glory. Okay. It's First Corinthians fourteen uh, and one. Follow after charity and desire spiritual gifts. Right? Yeah, I just read the scripture. It says, "Covet the best gifts, man." But rather that ye may prophesy. So that's the best uh, position to be in. But it's the most dangerous position as well. If you, you know, if you're a false prophet, <laughs> you know. If you're a false prophet, then you're going to get a, a reward as well. It's not going to be good, you know. But we had to covet the best gifts, man, and pray for each other that the Lord doesn't take his Holy Spirit from off us, man, that he keeps his word in his mouth. Because that's the only way we're going to be cleansed, man. You know, I read the scripture. It says, um, oh, it says by the washing of water, by the word, man. It's the only way you're going to be found clean in the eyes of Yah, by Shemir Shah, if you have this word in your mouth and you're actually walking in it. You know, you have to become what you're reading. You, you literally have to become a, uh, um, um, a walking epistle, a pistol, a pistol, you know. Mm. So that's the best gift to preach this word, man. You know, so we just hope and pray that Yahweh Bashim Yashah doesn't cast us away. Uh, uh, that we're furnished, um, that we're a vessel 
for the master's use that can be furnished onto all good works, man. All right. But yeah, um, you know, because this is how we separate the clean from the unclean, man, which is the job of a priest. The job of a priest is to separate that which is clean from that which is unclean, man. To keep the holy things holy, all right? You know, and to give the sense, you know, the whole nation um, went to the prophets for answers from the Lord, man. You know, that was their connection, you know, to the Lord. The Lord didn't just talk to anybody, man. He doesn't do that now. He, he never has. The scripture says, um, uh, I, I am Yahweh, Bashem Yahasha, I change not, man. I change not. He doesn't change, man. You know, the same um, officials that he had on earth that he uh, liaisoned with, that he communicated with, are the same officials that he's doing that with now, okay? So we hope that that line of communication is not cut off because uh, if we lose our sweet words, as the scripture says, and the salt has lost its savor, where would the shall it be salty, man? What good are we without this word? What good are we if we can't preach this word, man? What would set us apart from everybody else, man? Nothing. Man, that's, that was the breath of life that was breathed into Adam, which set him apart from everybody else. This is how... This, this is what separates us from everybody else, from all the heathens, the sons of the wicked, even two-thirds of our people, man, which are all considered to be beasts, man. This is how we walk upright, man, you know, in our, in our goings, man, you know. But uh, it's a little lesson I wanted to do. Hope it was edifying. Shalom, Muhammad, blah, blah, blah.